Also tonight, a new report by the independent monitor of the NYPD's neighborhood safety teams accused the units of stopping, frisking, and searching people unlawfully. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor joining us from the newsroom with what the monitor is calling disappointing results. Alice? Dana, these stats provided are meant to be a snapshot. The monitor's audit covers April 1st, 2022 to October 30th, 2022. For weeks, NST members were chosen at random to have their body worn camera videos looked at and separately a sample size of stop reports were assessed from what the monitor team saw they said performance was below acceptable standards in march 2022 nypd neighborhood safety teams debuted in precincts with the highest number of shootings unlike the anti-crime unit of the past where officers wore plain clothes nst officers wear modified uniforms body cameras and drive unmarked cars the monitor team found too many people are stopped, frisked, and searched unlawfully, specifically singling out low compliance at the 41st Precinct in the Bronx, which covers Hunts Point and Longwood. Only 41% of stops, 32% of frisks, and 26% of searches were lawful there. The report also found in the eight commands selected for the assessment, non-NST officers, it said, had a higher percentage of lawful stops than NST officers, which receive special training. The monitor reported NST officers had reasonable suspicion for only 73% of the frisks assessed and a legal basis for only 63% of searches assessed. But the report did note that some commands have 100% compliance and that they should serve as models. The NYPD says it is still reviewing the report but released a statement that reads, quote, the department disagrees with the conclusions of the monitor with respect to some of the encounters the team reviewed. NSTs engage with the public lawfully and constitutionally. And since the implementation of the program, they have been instrumental in the reduction of shootings and homicides that the city is experiencing. The NYPD takes accountability seriously and has established multiple layers of oversight. All right, so what happens now? A more comprehensive review by the monitor team will be conducted, and the NYPD must develop a plan for improved NST compliance within the next 30 days. Dana? Thank you, Alice.